A circle is inscribed in a rhombus with diagonals 12 and 16. Diagonals 12 and 16. Nice little rhombus here. Diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular bisectors of each other. So it will be 6, 8, 8, 6, 10, 10, 10, 10. A circle is inscribed inside this. Beautiful. Beautiful. So we want to find the ratio of area of circle to the area of the rhombus. Area of rhombus is very simple. Half into 6 into 8. 6 into 4, just 24 square units in the bag. If we find area of the circle, we are through. If we find radius of the circle, we are through. Brilliant. How do we find that? Beautiful. How do we find that? Think about this. I spent a long time thinking about a very good question. Radius will be perpendicular to the side of the rhombus. Why so? Because tangent is perpendicular to the radius. Side of the rhombus is a tangent to the circle. Right. So if you find radius, we are through. So I'm going to take one of these beautiful triangles carved out by half a half a diagonal and half a diagonal. This is 8, this is 6, this is 90 degrees. Drop this altitude. We are told that this is H. You can use the idea of similar triangles and get there. Or you can say, we can we can substitute area as are equal. Half into 8 into 6 is half into 10 into height. Area as base into height, half into base into height. Whether you take this as base, this as height, or this as base, this as height, area should be same. The half gets knocked off. Height is 48 by 10 or 24 by 5. The height of that right angle triangle is nothing but the radius. Or area of this circle is pi r square height. So it is pi 24 by 5 into 24 by 5. That is the area divided by 24. Area of the rhombus. Half into 6 into 8. Area of circle to area of the rhombus. Area of the rhombus. Okay. Area of the rhombus is not half into 6 into 8. It is half into 12 into 16, 96. I made a mistake there, which is why I was worried none of the choices are matching. Thankfully, the choices are available for this one. It is 96 and not 24. I took half the diagonal, not, it should be half into D1 into D2. I did half into D1 by 2 into D2 by 2. And so, this is pi into 24 into 24 by 25 into 96. 24 by 96 is 1 by 4. 24 by 4 is 6. 6 pi by 25. Lovely. My original answer would have given us 24 pi by 25, which, which luckily enough was not there in the choices. It's half into product of diagonals, not half into product of half the diagonals.